Hello everyone, welcome to another episode under Godspeed Trading, Trade Out Your Life. My name is Alex Fu and today we'll address one of the most important topic in the life of a trader. So if you have been trading or you, you, you love the concept of trading and the idea of risk management behind it, so when it comes to personal life, we can also apply some of the risk management principle uh, which will mostly develop in the insurance industry for personal and also for trading and investing for example like position sizing how much that you should allocate for each asset class etc the main idea is to prevent catastrophic losses uh, so big that one cannot recover from it or it takes years or even decades to recover from it all right so risk management uh it really it is really about preparing for uncertainty and since there are so many uncertain things coming down the road okay for example like the COVID 19 which uh, it is really considered a black swan event uh, not many people can forecast that all right so we will try to prepare but not over prepare in the sense that we become paranoid huh? we become a, 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 it's like helpless because there are just so many uh, variables at work and we truly don't know what what tomorrow will hold so in view of this all right um, this content is also prepared uh, mostly targeted to young graduates who just started their work and they would like some advice from someone who have uh, maybe journey a little bit further than them and the advice on the personal risk management first and first of all right none other than money right financing issue emergency fund is considered one of the most sensible uh, common yet all right poorly practiced uh, even among many of our uh, Malaysian fellas all right emergency fund right make sure that you have some money left in your bank account do not spend it all all right on your salary if you earn two thousand then spend no more than that all right do not take any debt we can talk about that uh, good use of debt later on all right generally minimum three to six months of your living expenses in the form of emergency fund all right as a way of peace of mind multiple source uh, of income is also preferable all right as you slowly progress uh, in your work uh, you often started with only one income source and if you lost that job for whatever reason all right uh, you'll find that you lost all right the the source of income and that is going to really uh, throw your life all right uh, upside down all right the thing is all right if you have obligation like internet expenses which is uh, subscribed uh, 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 over a year and then you have to uh, fulfill that obligation uh, you have food bill all right utility bill all right uh, let's say if you get a car loan or house loan so you find the, all these all right it, it really becomes a risk all right big risk and we need all right to anticipate some of that so insurance or big ticket item is uh, preferable all right if you intend to buy car or house in the future uh, house is more uh, more common eh? okay uh, if you buy a house let's say and then you take a 30 years loan uh, the bank all right will assess your credibility uh, credit worthiness and they will advise if you need insurance all right just in case down the road that you are not able to pay it up all right the insurance is able to cover the rest of the amount all right and for car insurance uh i think you know it right so if you uh be driving in malaysia if you need to renew your road tax all right you need to make sure that your car is first uh insured all right before you can uh, purchase new road tax all right for the next year all right so thankfully all right by law all right every car needs to be insured all right but by house many people do not and some of the house owners are uh, uh, really brush it off all right uh, uh, did not all right buy insurance on their home and after all right you spend so much money on your home uh, 
literally hundreds of thousands and why not right just spend a little bit extra right as a hedging strategy right just in case anything happen on your house you still have insurance to cover for it now career right we just now just now touch a little bit on that right multiple career path and progression uh, depending on the discipline that you study so for example if you study accounting or business major uh, what can you what can you do all right as a person offering your skill and abilities in the workplace and you find that multiple career path uh, a general degree is good uh, however it lacks specialization and however also on the other hand if let's say your your training or your discipline is too focused all right for example you are, are trained as a, a, a psychiatrist or right? psychiatrist or, or maybe a psychologist in a certain area and you find that your career path is very narrow all right so think of ways on how you can contribute to multiple industry or right? not just one even though uh, universities and society generally cherish and uh, love all right people with specialization but okay from a risk perspective all right just in case if this discipline doesn't work or there is no uh, no good demand down the road all right and uh, it is uh, you have an option at least all right to change all right relocation adjustment to life circumstances happen very often all right uh, many uh some of the people that i know all right uh been stuck at some executive level and cannot move up in career ladder uh, because they refuse to relocate for whatever reason uh, mostly family reason or right? family reason that you, you can't relocate and it's actually a risk also because you can't relocate that means that your ability to perform a job is limited all right you can't move on all right and for those who really need to relocate because you have a lot of financial burden, then it creates a risk for you also. All right, so it is literally like pushing you to a situations where you do not want to be, and you felt that your freedom is being taken away because you have so many things to service your loan, and then uh, your job requires you to travel, and you don't like it, and you you, you can't cope with it, and you need to come up with alternate ways. All right, so for those who love traveling, no problem. Now, okay, okay. Retraining and upgrade skill okay, almost become a, a necessity for everyone in the industry, uh, as everyone of us uh, tries to be more sophisticated and deep in our own field of specialization. Accountant can move on to become a tax partner, for example, if you work like ten or twenty years in the same discipline, or stay in the audit line, or stay in the financial accounting line okay so if you are a financial analyst all right you can go for a professional certification all right work in the fund houses and that's how you progress through in life so there are many things right which requires us to pick up skills things like big data which will not exist all right 10 years ago right now it almost become a necessity all right for those who are good with number you need to train in quantitative skill all right works with insights all right and data okay speak on data i have a special section of this or uh, as we are uh, getting very much involved in digital economy you find that there are many accounts that we have all right we have many uh, financial accounts forum account all right facebook account whatsapp accounts some of you even have uh, three or four numbers sorry uh make sure that you have a very good and strong password that you can remember data theft has been a very serious thing uh, invading your privacy and not only that all right uh it steals your money away all right so newspaper has been littered with a lot of this kind of news all right back up your data in multiple places not just one so that if uh, your computer can't turn on uh, it happens it can happen all right so if you only have one laptop and all your data is in one place so do not always assume that the laptop is always working right so make sure you back up all your valuable data data is especially valuable when it is uh, like many years right you have accumulated so much of it and yeah do not lose it right update 
security patches of technological devices. Some of the clients which I speak of still using Windows XP and uh, not very good choice uh, if you are still using it to, you, to surf online, right? All right? And also mobile phones, right? Make sure that it is updated. Okay, so I gave you some three examples on finance, career, and also data, but actually there are more than that. The general principle of personal financial management, sorry, personal risk management is to anticipate, prepare, but nevertheless, live with the peace of mind, right? Do not over-prepare, right? Do not over-anticipate simply because we really cannot prepare for all events of uncertainty, right? It's literally impossible. You literally need to become a god, all right, to, to know exactly what will happen in the future, combination of events, all right, etc. And we can only do so much that we can. Uh, if you do not have an uh, insurance yet, all right, speak with a trusted insurance agent, all right. Uh, don't spend too much money on it, all right. Maybe maximum 10% of your monthly salary, good enough, all right. Cover on your life, medical uh, insurance, especially on this important area. Okay, so there are also other areas, uh, let's say for Malaysian, uh, not really prepared for that, but in the Western world, all right, uh, really the, the top few reasons why people go bankrupt is uh, one, for example, like uh, uh, too much debt, all right, take on too much debt, um, so be careful with that. And also another area which is on relationship, divorces, all right, if a relationship do not work, when it comes to divorces and when it comes to asset allocation, all right, who get what, all right, and all these things, it, it gets very, uh, uh, um, for lack of better terms, uh, maybe you can say uncomfortable, all right, because you are dealing with relationship which is broken. And then when it comes to divorces, all right, and especially when it comes to money, all right, it is a very hard issue. So we have a concept called prenuptial, prenuptial agreement. Uh, not very popular in Malaysia, and some also contend to say that a prenuptial agreement uh, doesn't really have power in Malaysia, right? Depends on the court to decide, all right? Nevertheless, this is a one way that we can prepare just in case relationship doesn't work. Okay, again, as I say, right, it can be a taboo for many couples. Okay, it is like saying that you distrust, all right, do not trust another when you sign a prenuptial agreement. It is like something to agree upon just in case it doesn't work and people will say what do you mean by just in case it doesn't work we always love one another right okay so that is all for today personal risk management uh there are certainly more than that right preparing for death all right uh, other issues but i think this will give a very good overview in the form of finance data and also your career progression right so prepare as much as you can anticipate it but nevertheless, after you do all things in your areas, just live with peace of mind and live normally, all right? All right, live joyfully, all right? So live with purpose and hope, okay? Knowing that you have already done your part in preparation. Okay, thank you for listening to this episode in Godspeed Training. All right, my name is Alex Fu on Personal Risk Management.